We're here at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2014 in the Republic of Korea in Busan, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Dr. Wim Lambo, who is Deputy Minister of ICT, Postal and Courier Services for Zimbabwe. Dr. Mlambo, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much, Max. Now, ITU is celebrating its 150th anniversary next year. I wanted to ask you, why is it important, you think, to celebrate this? Uh, thanks. First of all, Max, I, I really want to appreciate offering me this opportunity to share my views with the whole world. There are many reasons why we are celebrating, or why we have a reason to celebrate the 150 years of uh, ITU founding. Firstly, if we were to go back into history, 1865, and imagine what telecommunications were like then, how human beings used to communicate, and then come back to the present times and compare the two, you would agree with me that there are reasons to celebrate. Right now, as compared to then, when we couldn't um, talk, for example, with uh, our families back at home, thousands of kilometers away, right now we can do so and even see them. We can do business anywhere, oh, the plane, uh, bus, uh, walking, jogging, and even the toilet, we can do that. Th this marks uh, a big improvement be be in the 150 years that I2 was founded, and indeed we have reason to celebrate. Life is a lot easier now. How will Zimbabwe be celebrating ITU 115? Like uh, the rest of the world, we have reason to do so. We joined the ITU in 1980 when we became independent. But then, if we were to go back as well to 1865 and compare what Zimbabwe was doing in terms of communicating, the rudimentary, archaic methods of communication, we really also uh, have made strides. Yes, we are not like the developed world in, in, in terms of um, ICT development and telecommunications, but we com compare very well with the developed world. We now can boast of um, broadband in our country. We uh, boast of also, uh, as we are going to do next year, migration to digital broadcasting. These are, and quite a number of other reasons, cause us to really celebrate in Zimbabwe. Now this anniversary is not just about the history of ITU, but also about innovating together into the future. I believe you've got some new exciting initiatives coming up. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about them. There are quite a number. Um, because again of the capabilities of uh, ICT technology these days, we um, are rolling out broadband uh, into the rural areas. And we also want to meet the ITU deadlines on broadband and also on digital broadcasting. We are implementing um, to assist the previously shunned areas, uh, telecenters like community information centers, uh, we are doing that to facilitate um, services in these uh, areas. We are also coming up with e-programs to assist um, disadvantaged groups. There are quite a number, uh, women projects, youth projects, um, rural farmers, we call them communal farmers, uh, that they should plow, uh, grow the uh, products, and then we go come to them with money. Uh, assisting the uh, people, especially the vulnerable. I want also to mention that the pensioners are the old people who can't move anymore. We are providing uh, services. Basically, with a, a, a little creativity and innovation, one comes up with many applications and programs to assist our uh, civilians. Dr. Mlambo, Deputy Minister, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much, Max.